how are we all doing? Welcome to this video leap tutorial. So I've been asked a few questions about using the mixer and using pins, saying my pins don't pin stuff. So really simple, let's, um, let's kill two birds with one stone. So let's get straight over into it. Basically all I have here is a, um, some stock image in my timeline. And um, I suppose we could um, go through the mixer first, beans as we are here. So you notice I've not got anything selected. So when you've got something selected in the timeline, um, you just get this white frame around what you have selected. And then the tools will change at the bottom. Let me show you again. So if I click off it, I have a specific set of tools at the bottom for things that I can do um, with nothing selected. But then once I select something that's within my timeline, a different set of tools pops up. So let me deselect this. And we're going to talk about the mixer down here on the left hand side first. So if I go ahead and just click that mixer now, basically I get my video photos. I've got stock selected here. So I'm just going to select another stock image here. And what this will do for me is it will drop this stock image above above the um the clip that i had originally in my timeline right so drop it above so let me undo that so remember, if i select select the video clip that i've got in my timeline and i have another mixer down here but you'll notice in this mixer here it's got a little arrow above so this is dictate this is saying that basically we're gonna add something into the main part of the timeline and we're going to push this clip up to be mixed with whatever so i get this little blank um this little blank yeah sort of template area i suppose i'm going to click the little plus button and then again i'm going to add my stock image so it's going to place this stock image um below the original piece of work that I add in the timeline. Let me just undo that. So I think one thing I failed to mention is that in this view where I've got nothing selected, if I click mixer here, wherever my playhead is, that's where it's going to drop the new clip into. Let me show you. So just click the mixer button. That's where it's going to drop this clip into um, wherever my playhead is. When you do it the other way, it just drops it from the start. So in order to move this, I'm going to click the teardrop, drag it back to the start. Let's um, let's show you what the pin does. But while we're doing that, let's make something that looks a little bit different as we go along, right? So um, I'm just going to pinch and squeeze this um, clip to get to get it to cover the image that we already had, and then I'm just going to go to. Um, you can either you could go to blending or you could go to mask or you could yeah i'm going to go to blending and i'm going to go lighten so now when i go lighten and drag this drag this mixture um intensity down it almost looks like i've got so yeah so i've got two sets of lights within that single light right um so just to help us demonstrate what the pin does let me split this clip here and then i'm gonna without anything selected, I'm going to add an effect to this area here, right? So I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to add a prism effect. Now on this prism effect, I'm going to keyframe it here. Move along and then move that prism to here. Okay, so basically all that happens now is I get this little... So if I was going to add that to a beat or something, I don't know, it would just it would just look kind of cool, right? So it makes that look kind of cool. So now I want that all at all times. I want this prism effect to be linked to the clip below it, right? So it doesn't matter where I've got it in the playhead. Hover you, make sure you've got the clip that you want to pin selected. Select this little pin in the bottom right hand corner. And now this is pinned to that clip. When I say it's pinned to the clip, I can still drag the teardrop and move it wherever I want to move it. But if I move this clip, that effect will stay with it because it's pinned, right? So if I move it back to here, the pinned prism effect will stay with it. I can still move 
the effect by clicking the little teardrop and moving it along, but it's pinned to this one here. That's that video over, really simple, right? So that's mixers, just remember the difference with the mixers. If you haven't got anything selected in the timeline, you're mixing above, so you're adding two. If you've got something selected in the timeline, then you're gonna add below the main clip. And then with the pins, it pins to the piece that you add it to, not locking it in place. It's not a lock, it's a pin. It's pinning it to the piece of um, clip that you've selected um, to pin it to. Hope this helps you out. Take care, I'll, um, I'll catch you all soon. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Bye, <gasps> boom.